specify a action or act of worship for a time that is a specific time that must be a proof and evidence that is based on this. لِأَنَّ الْعِبَادَةَ كَمَا أَنْتُمْ تَعْرِفُونَ أَنَّ الْعِبَادَةَ تَوْقِيفِيَ That the worship is something that is تَوْقِيفِيَ Meaning that we're going to wait until that we have a go-ahead from the sharia that to uh, establish and perform that acts of worship. So, if, alhamdulillah, we see people that want to involve themselves in act of worship in this month of Rajab or Sha'ban, that doesn't have no dalil on it, then alhamdulillah, we clarify to them the absence or the importance of staying away from those things that doesn't have no, no dalil. So, continuing in our lesson tonight, bi'ithnillah, as we were reading the explanation of the fundamental of the fundamental principle of the sunnah usul sunnah the foundation of the sunnah by imam ahmed rahiman allah wa iya with the sharh of sheikh salih uh, by with the sharh of sheikh rabi ibn hali al madkhali hafizahullah wa ra'a and we reach the point of al quran kalamullah laysa bi makhluq then the quran is indeed the speech of allah and it is not created imam ahmed rahimahullah he say wal quran Kalam Allah, the Quran is the speech of Allah. وَلَيْسَ بِمَخْلُوقٍ And it is not created. وَلَا يُضْعَفْ أَنْ يَقُولْ And it is not weak to say, لَيْسَ بِمَخْلُوقٍ It is not created. قَالْ He say, فَإِنَّ كَلَامُ اللَّهِ لَيْسَ بِبَائِنٌ مِنْهُ Say that the speech of Allah is not distinct from him. Because saying that the Quran is yani, distinct from Allah, right? It is distinct from Allah. This is the statement of who? That's the statement of who? Here, Imam Ahmed rahimahullah is refuting a group from the deviated group when he say, فَإِنَّ كَلَامُ اللَّهِ لَيْسَ بِبَائِنٌ مِنْهُ Aba Asma. No. The first group of the Asha'ir, the first groups of the Asha'ir, this was a refutation against them. Tayyip. وَلَيْسَ مِنْهُ شَيْءٌ مَخْلُوقٌ And there is nothing from the speech of Allah that is created. So he mean by that, what did he mean by that? That there is nothing from the speech of Allah that is created, Abdullah. What does he mean that he mean by this? Abu Zura. That there is nothing from the speech of Allah that is created. What does he mean by that? Abu Asma. Uh, what else? What else? There is nothing from the speech of Allah that is not created. Now, Omar? I mean, there is no, no, meaning from the speech of Allah, there is nothing that is created. <laughs> meaning, meaning the, 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 what is written? What is written? What is being recited? Right? What is written, what is being recited, and what is being heard, nothing of it is, is, is created. Meaning the Mus'haf, once you open the Mus'haf and you read those, it's not, it's not created. If the person list, read and re recite and you listen, that which you're listening to is not created. And you yourself reciting it is not created. So that's why he mentioned, minhu, There is nothing from it that is created. There is nothing from the speech of Allah that is created. From what we read, from what we see and from what we heard, there is nothing that is created. But all of it, it is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he said, وَإِيَّاكَ وَمُنَاظَرَةِ مَنْ أَحْدَثَ مَنْ أَحْدَثَ فِيهِ And woe to, yani meaning be cautious about argumenting and debating those who bring in event, in, in new invented matters in this. وَمَنْ قَالَ بِاللَّفْظِ وَغَيْرِهِ And those who say that my recitation of the Qur'an is created. Tayyip, what is it in the statement of my recitation of the Qur'an? What is it in it? What is in the statement of lafzi bil Qur'an, my recitation of the Qur'an? What is in it, Abu Zura? Now, what is it in it? How do we explain that, Abdullah? Ahsant, it has two meanings. Yahtamil hadha wa hadha. It could mean this one, it could mean this one. Meaning, when a person says lafzi bil Qur'an makhluq, it could have two meanings. 
saying that my recitation of the Quran is created can have two meanings. Number one, Abdullah. Very good. What is being read? read? Of the one that is reading it, yes. That could mean that. Yeah. Meaning the person reading his voice is what? Created. Yeah. But also it could mean what? Yeah. That could mean also what I'm actually reciting is created. So one of them is true, the other one is not true. That what you actually recited is not created. But what the voice, how he is reciting it, how he is reciting it, that is Barakallah Fikum created. Just like you and I, our aswat, our, our voice is created. But reciting the Quran, that Quran we recite is not created. So that's why it is not to be used, lafzi bil Quran makhluk, that my recitation of the Quran is created. Why? Because it can mean this and it can mean that. So if now there is an issue that can mean this and it can mean that, and that which Barakallah Fikum, if you say it, those who have a false belief, they can utilize it to run with it for their own evil purpose. So, yep. And he mentioned, Woman waqafa fihi, and those who have this waqf in it, meaning these that have that standing point, the neutral position. So, yep, who are those and what do they say? Those who have the natural position. Who are those? Sambala. Those who they say, you know, we, the, those who have the waqafiyya, man whom, what is the aqira in that? They will say what? Abba Ibrahim? Abba Asma? No, what is that, that which is their belief? They say we don't in this. Very good, they say that the Quran is kalamullah. This is what they say. But now, la adri. Makhluqun amla. La adri. Makhluqun amla. I don't know whether it is created or not. So he doesn't want to dwell in the situation. He want to take the quote unquote safe leeway. He say yes the Quran is a speech of Allah. But makhluqun am ghayru makhluq. I don't know. What did Imam Ahmed say in regard to this individual Muhammad? No, what Imam Ahmed said in that, in, in regard to this individual. Naam, Abba Ibrahim. Yes, Mubtadi'a. Just like the one that say the Quran is created. No difference. Just like the one that say the Quran is created. Who was sahibu bid'ah? He mentioned, لا, uh, he say, فَقَالَ لَا أَدْرِي مَخْلُوقٌ أَمْ لَيْسَ بِمَخْلُوقٌ وَإِنَّمَا هُوَ كَلَامُ اللَّهِ This is what they say. I don't know whether it is created or not. But I'm sure it is a speech of Allah. فَهَذَا صَاحِبُ بِدْعَةٌ This individual is what? He is a person of innovation. He is a person of innovation. So he is like, مِثْلُ مَنْ قَالَ هُوَ مَخْلُوقٌ He is just like the one that say it is created. But وَإِنَّمَا هُوَ What is our belief is إِنَّمَا هُوَ كَلَامُ اللَّهِ It is the speech of Allah. لَيْسَ بِمَخْلُوقٌ It is not created. Now the question is, what is the importance of saying that the Quran is a speech of Allah and it is not created? What is the danger in saying that the Quran is created? What's the danger in that? What's the danger in that? Oh, this is for him. Good catch. What's the danger in saying the Quran is created? Drame? What's the danger in saying the Quran is created? What is the danger in that? Because if we hear a person saying that, now we got to tell him, yo, you cannot say that. He say, why? Oh, Ustaz, somebody say, no, he's not a hujja. Suleiman say, no, that's not a hujja. Abdul Jalil say, it's not a hujja. Muhammad say, it's not a hujja. But detail him. Why? Abu Jalil. Speech? Yes. Say it in French. You got it. Very good. Ahsanta. 
before uh, it did mean that it, before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you say the Quran is created that mean at one point Allah was not complete Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was deficient because what would be a, a ilah a, a true God without the speech how would he command how would someone that has authority that can command then his command is what is deficient can we ascribe that to Allah? Hasha lillah. So this is the meaning of the statement. The statement when a person says that the Quran is created. That means what? That he is ascribing weakness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But rather this is why Imam Ahmed, he brought this point. And this is why he fought for this. Because the Jahmi, this was their belief. Bishr al-Marisi and the likes of them. Tayyip, this was their belief. And their belief was nothing but disbelief. That's why they wanted Imam Ahmed to say this word. And Imam Ahmed understanding that this is a statement that Barakallah Fikum can lead the end of the people to disbelief. Because now a person, okay, now you believe that the Quran is created. Now the person can utilize it to prove you that if the Quran is created, then Allah, he, is, he was deficient at a point. That he was deficient at a point. And all of this, Barakallah Fikum, it is, it is khalal. It is, it, is a, it is a great mistake. But as I mentioned, that for Quran was sunnah, yadullani ala anna al Quran kalamullah, takalama bihi, subhanahu wa ta'ala, awhahu ila jibril, wa jibril balahahu ila Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wallahu ya takalama mata sha'a, wa idha sha'a, wa man. وَمِنْ كَلَامِهِ الَّذِي لَا, ين, لا يُفْنِي That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Indeed all the Quran and the Sunnah come to be a proof That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Quran is a speech He gave this revelation to Jibreel And Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam conveyed to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he speak to whenever when he wants to and to whomever he wants he wants to and he say and from the speech of Allah that which will never perish will never finish is the Quran the Torah and the Injil so he mentioned and this is our last session in this point bi'idhnillah <coughs> And this is dealing with the issues of those who practice the waqf. He says, فَإِذَا تَوَقَّفَ الرَّجُلُ الشَّكَّ فِي أُمُورِ فِي أَمْرِهِ وَهُوَ بِدْعَةٌ وَتَجَهَّمَا He says, if a person, right, this is the new print. If a, if a person, he have this hesitation, right? He has this hesitation. In this issue, then that is a affairs of innovation. What a jahama. And he have taken the path of the jahmiyyah. The jahama. He has taken the path of the jahmiyyah. Right? The jahama. The jahmi came from what word? The jahmiyyah. Right? Uh huh. Jahma ibn Safwan. He is the one that established the philosophy of the Jahmiyyah, Jahm ibn Safwan. And it has been promoted by Ja'ad ibn Dirham. Ja'ad ibn Dirham. These two names are important. We know the Jahmi, we, we've been hearing the Jahmi all our life. Right? But man whom, where the name from? That's why the Shah Fidullah, he say, what a Jahama, and he have taken the path of the Jahmi. He has taken the path of the Jahmi. He said, فَيَعْنِي لَمَّا تَجَمَّتْ هَذِهِ الْفِتْنَةِ When this fitna يعني, was, was at its high, at its peak. And he mentioned, وَاشْتَدَّتْ جَاءَتْ مِثْلُ هَذِهِ And the likes of this statement came about. About saying that my lafz, my wording in the Quran. This is when, when the issue was very hot. That some people that used to ascribe themselves to the sunnah. Now they came up with this statement of, that my statement of the Quran is created. But we all understand that this is not something to be said because it can carry both meaning. He says, 
He say, فَلَمَّا كَانَتْ تَحْتَمِلُ بَعْضًا